This gorgeous star is best known for her husky voice and red hairstyle. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the origins of Emma Stone. Wow, wow! Cacao, cacao, wow! That is so beautiful. Never had one lesson. Emily Jean Stone was born November 6, 1988 in Scottsdale, Arizona. As a baby, she was stricken with colic and cried relentlessly, which left her with calloused vocal cords and her trademark hoarse voice. After appearing in local theater productions and improv groups in her youth, Stone developed a passion for performing. She then created a PowerPoint presentation to persuade her parents to relocate to Hollywood so she could pursue a showbiz career. It worked, so a 15-year-old Stone and her mother moved to LA where the aspiring actress went on auditions during the day and was homeschooled at night. She adopted the stage name Emma Stone when she applied to the Screen Actors Guild and found her real name was taken. After many failed auditions, Stone was finally discovered in 2004 as part of VH1's nationwide competition in search of the new Partridge family. As a result, she was cast as Laurie Partridge in the reboot of this iconic 70s sitcom. However, the series only lasted one episode. Stone then took advantage of her career's momentum by landing guest spots on several popular television shows, including an appearance on Malcolm in the Middle, voice work on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and a recurring role on the short-lived 2007 Fox series, Drive. Despite those roles, Stone had yet to make her breakthrough. She hit a low when she auditioned for the 2006 superhero show, Heroes, and lost the role of Claire Bennett to Hayden Panettiere. However, that was just one week before Stone landed her first feature film role in Judd Apatow's 2017 comedy, Superbad. Come on, you didn't blow it. I think maybe... What the f***? Help me. Ow! For the movie, Apatow suggested Stone dye her hair a vibrant red, which became her signature even after the flick, despite the fact she was a natural blonde. With her new do and her quirky personality, Stone was finally on Hollywood's radar. She followed that triumph with more roles in 2008. First, she learned to play bass guitar for her appearance opposite Rain Wilson in The Rocker. Then, she portrayed a sorority girl in The House Bunny. The next year, she led Matthew McConaughey on a romantic quest in Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. Uh, what, are you, what are you gonna do? Oh, no, 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 it's gonna be rad, okay? I am gonna take you back through all of your past girlfriends, and then hopefully you and I can figure out how you got your head quite so far up your own ass. And starred beside Woody Harrelson and Jesse Eisenberg as a survivor in Zombieland. Bummer. Also in 2009, she joined Jeff Daniels, Ryan Reynolds, and Lisa Kudrow in the indie flick Paperman. Though that comedy drama bombed, Stone's performance as a teen who befriends a troubled writer was highly praised. Stone shook things up in 2010 by lending her voice to the live-action adaptation of the comic strip Marmaduke. Look, I know what it's like to be an outsider. She then landed her first starring film role as a high school student who mistakenly earns a reputation as the local slut in Easy A. I'm not that kind of girl. Oh, really? The kind that does it? Or the kind that does it and doesn't have the lady balls to tell her best friend? What? I want every detail. Ray! Now, bitch! You know, you call me bitch a lot, okay? It's not really a term of endearment. I want every detail. Now, shit face. You're not really heading in the right direction with that one either. Tell me! Stone's standout performance in this hit earned her heaps of praise and a Golden Globe nomination. It also helped her fulfill her longtime dream of hosting Saturday Night Live. It is truly a dream come true. So uh, I just want to say to all the 14-year-old girls out there, drop out of school and move to LA because it always works out. 2011 was Stone's busiest year yet. She showed up in the sex comedy Friends with Benefits. We missed your body as a wonderland. OK, only one song. That's not so bad, right? Who's f***ing your body as a wonderland? Well, the good news is he has so many good ones. Here's an idea. Next time, instead of being late, just shit on my face. Because that's kind of the same thing as missing your body as Wonderland. Before she joined a team of all-stars in the hit comedy drama Crazy Stupid Love. She then adopted a southern accent to lead an ensemble cast in the fight for civil rights in the screen adaptation of the best-selling novel The Help. 
Stone kept busy in 2012 with numerous projects and made her biggest blockbuster showing yet as comic book character Gwen Stacy in the franchise reboot The Amazing Spider-Man. Not only was that film a box office triumph, it also introduced her to co-star Andrew Garfield, with whom she started a relationship. In addition, she began work on new projects that year, which included the CGI caveman comedy The Croods and the crime film Gangster Squad. This actress's cute and offbeat sense of humor have made her Hollywood's newest it girl, and she's even dazzled as part of Maxim's Hot 100 list. <laughs> If she continues to showcase her passion and unique charm on the big screen, there's no doubt Emma Stone will conquer Hollywood's A-list. For more bios of your favorite actors, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Wait, huh? What? You said something. You said something. We were talking, so you said something, so I came back. You're funny. Call me. Okay.